two Wayland compositors walk into Linux and immediately start a religious war. Hyperlin promises eye candy that makes your desktop look like it belongs in a sci-fi movie. Sway delivers the reliability of that one friend who's never late. Both are tiling window managers, but they're solving completely different problems. Sway is basically i3's responsible older sibling who got a job at a tech company. It's a drop-in replacement for i3 that works with your existing configs. The philosophy is simple. Do one thing exceptionally well. No animations, no rounded corners, no GPU melting effects, just pure efficient window management that runs on a potato and never crashes. Hyperlind is the flashy newcomer with animation smoother than butter and customization options that make KDE look conservative. We're talking rounded corners, blur effects, and window animations that actually work. The eye candy is genuinely impressive, assuming your GPU doesn't file a restraining order. But here's where things get spicy. Multiple users report performance issues with Hyperlind, especially on Intel integrated graphics. Gaming performance takes a hit compared to Sway. <sighs> One user switched back after a month because sharing windows and presentations didn't work properly. Another mentioned daily crashes that magically disappeared when switching to Sway. Sway users consistently praise its rock-solid stability. It's been the most stable window manager experience many have had on Linux. The minimalist approach means fewer things can break, and fewer things do break. Hyperlin requires plugins to match basic i3 features like tab layout. Sway just has them. Native i3 compatibility means your workflow transfers instantly. The verdict depends on your priorities. Want bleeding-edge features and don't mind occasional instability? Hyperlind delivers visual pleasure. Need something that just works for the next five years without babysitting. Sway is your reliable companion. Choose based on whether you value eye candy or sleep quality.